Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am going to a long away review. I'm going to be reviewing the Resident Evil skins and love both of them. I'm a huge RE fan. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. It's probably, probably already basically telling you what my thoughts are going to be on the skins. And honestly, it's, I love them because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. And <coughs> like I was saying in my other videos, I can I do a two in one with something? Um, this is kind of going to be a review on the Resident Evil skins and a review on the new Resident Evil movie. Um, I saw the new Resident Evil movie and went into, I went to go see it. My thoughts are like, like I went, I went into seeing the movie with low expectations. Like I didn't think it was going to be good because, well, all the other Resident Evil movies, I hate them all because, well, they have nothing to do with the game at all and came out of them i got done watching the movie came out very happy the movie was really good i love the end credit scene that they did i it's awesome i'm glad that they're probably they're most likely going to do a sequel especially if it does well and i went to go see the movie with my girlfriend and my mom it was my girlfriend's first tour movie in the theaters and she and my girlfriend loved the movie. And she didn't know anything about the games. The thing is... <coughs> and I can say this. Or like I can agree with this. The like same thing with the Mortal Kombat movie. The newest one that came out. This movie was a love letter to the fans of the Resident Evil games. And if you didn't play any of the games. And you don't know like anything about the games. You're not going to know what the what's happening. You're not going to know what's going on. You're not going to know what's happening. Like, especially this, um, like, I was watching the movie with my girlfriend. And she kept asking, like, she didn't understand what was happening. And, like, she was wondering, like, what the Lakers were. I was explaining to her what it was. And then she was, like, confused on, like, <coughs> what was really happening. Like, I basically explained it to her. I mean, obviously, I knew. That's why I explained it to her. And... The movie was good, especially like the scene um in the Raccoon City Police Department. My God, that mo that scene and like how Leon was sitting there on the table at the round table, or like the curved table. I mean, it felt like I was in Resident Evil too, and it looked so good. And um, Leon was good. A lot of people were like kind of like a little mad that they did the whole race change with Leon and Jill. Um, I don't really care about that. If they got the character well, which I'm, they did do, uh, they did um do good with Jill, and they did do good with um Leon, and the characters of both of them were really good. I loved Leon in this movie, and Jill was good, and um, all the zombies looked pretty good. The li the liquors looked good. I love the way the liquor the liquor looked. And all the different zombies, uh, especially like the final scene that with the I forgot what his name was. Uh, I can't think of the top of my head. I like the actor that plays the character. I watch a lot of movies with him in it, and the actor is really good. And I really like the way that the final form of him looked. Like when I was fighting, I was like, "Come on, yeah, shoot him in the eyes," because I remember that that's the way you had to defeat him, and like the boss fight with him, and. All the little shots together. One little thing I have a problem with this movie is... <coughs> <coughs> this movie should have been split into two films. Because they basically split the movie into two. They split it into Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. Into one movie. And... The next film is going to be based, if they do it, it's going to have to go to Resident Evil 3. And then the, the, it felt, it would have been better if they split it into C two movies, where it was Resident Evil 1, and then we followed Resident, how Resident Evil 1 went. And then Resident Evil 2, we followed everything that happened in Resident Evil 2, and then with like Nemesis and every, everything. Now we can't have Nemesis, because Nemesis is part of RE1 and RE2. He isn't, he is not nothing to do with RE3. So... And then it felt like there were some parts missing out of the movie when I was watching it. It felt kind of like there was stuff missing, like, from it. 
it was good. I loved it because it was basically a love letter to the fans. I mean, my girlfriend really liked it. Like, I was saying that, like, she kind of was confused on some scenes because she didn't know anything about the games and stuff. I basically explained it to her, like, how, like, our brother's basically corrupted. They do experiments on people. And basically, they're just trying to bomb this and then get rid of everything that went wrong or what they were doing. And then just get rid of it and then move on somewhere else. And... Like, how there's an outbreak and everything, and how, like, Umbra, like, poisoned the water and everything. I mean, Claire was good. I liked the way Chris looked, like, in his, like, basically his early stages of Chris. And I really liked it. There was a good bit of jump scares in it, which normally got me. I'm, I am used to jump scares. But, I mean, like, all the different, like, kills, like, zombies and stuff. Like, that one scene where, like, it's dark. And then Chris, you just see, like, light by the end of his gun barrel, and he's just shooting all these zombies. It felt like you were in the game, like you were playing that Resident Evil, and it was really, really cool. And I I really enjoyed it. Like, I, I actually really enjoyed it. And, like, if you're a Resident Evil fan, I would see it. But, um, I will say this, though. Depending on what kind of fan you are, if you haven't really played any of the Resident Evil games or you don't know anything about the games, you would be probably, if you go in a movie just like nothing to know about the movie, you'd be kind of confused on what happened or what's going on. So like, if you know anything about it, like it would be cool if they, like Resident, the Resident Evil movies before, they, they just picked out little, little things from Resident Evil. They weren't directly from the game they just threw the title in there and picked out a couple of things from resident evil but if you, there's two type of movies now especially movies like this there's love letter to the fans and then there's fan, people that don't know anything about the movies or anything about the game and this movie is a love letter to the fans and it sucks they can't merge the two together and make it so it's both but, um, like I was saying with my girlfriend, she still enjoyed the movie, even though she knew anything, she knew nothing about the games. She really enjoyed it. And, I mean, I really enjoyed it. My mom liked it, too. And, like, there was a lot of, like, comedic relief, too, in the movie. Like, Leon, Leon was pretty funny. But they kind of messed up Leon in the movie because Leon is a rookie. He goes into raccoon city knowing nothing and then shit starts to go down and then he has to basically defend for himself and then be a total badass this movie they kind of make him a fucking idiot if i'm going to be completely honest they basically kind of make him an idiot and it kind of felt like an f you to like leon fans but like everything else was pretty good i mean they got everything right i mean it yeah it kind of felt like leon and it kind of looked like leon and it kind of was Leon, but it wasn't really Leon, if you know what I mean. But, if you're going to go see Resident Evil, like, my friend, my friend, um, Pug, which y'all probably know, said he might go see it. So, you can still enjoy the movie, if you really don't know anything about the, about the, about the, um, what's happening. I mean, I explained it to my girlfriend's movie. That's, like, a little bit more why she enjoyed it. Because she was, like, she put, put two together when I told her everything that was supposed to happen. Um. <coughs> but. Better than I thought it was going to be. Way better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, is isn't the best movie of this year. But. It's good. I liked it. And. I maybe might do more movie reviews like this if I'm reviewing the cosmetic that's from that movie. Like for Letter from Carnage, um, I was gonna do a video of that, but I was like I wanna move my movie stuff to horror bros, but I will do this once or so often if I review a collaboration skin and I've seen the show or movie that's based off of. I will do and I seen the newest movie, like Spider Man No Way Home. If they, I'm going to obviously see that. And if they do a skin for that Spider-Man from that movie. And I'm going to review it. I'm going to review it and talk to you about how I how I thought about the movie. But yeah, that's going to do it for my thoughts on Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Now let's get into the skins reviews. Um, I love this. I love 
that they have Jill and Chris that they chose <coughs> for the skin that they're going to do. This is what the pickaxe sounds like. And if you're wondering what pickaxes go to who, this goes to um, Jill and the other one goes to Chris. And this is what it sounds like. I mean, same, this the four animation like most pickaxes are. As like a fire splash and a fire contrail. And then this is what it sounds like hitting your opponent. One thing I'm a little bit confused about. Her, oh, I'll do this. Her um gun pouch doesn't have a gun in it. But there's other skins that have guns in their holsters. Like, look, for Midas, for example. He has guns in his holster. So I don't really get why she doesn't have a gun in her holster. And they just, like, took it out. I mean, Chris has the same thing. It's a little weird. I don't know why they did that. There's other skins that have it. Like, maybe, maybe maybe skins don't have it. But I was like, there's a lot of skins that have guns in their holsters. That's what the pickaxe sounds like. That sounds like it's hot. It sounds like it's like it's sizzling. I like that. that sounds nice. I love that, by the way. Oh, and shout out to Talking, by the way, because I didn't have enough to buy the full set. Um, I actually only had enough to buy the pickaxe. Um, so it made the bundle extremely cheap, and I got the emote and the pickaxe thanks to thanks to Talking, and he made this review basically possible because I wouldn't have been able to review the video if he didn't give it to me because I wouldn't have had the whole set. So. Thank you, talking for the pickaxes for the bundle. And um, I love these skins. Like I actually been wearing these skins a lot. And this obviously this is for, like I forgot what version of Jill this is. I'm trying to think. This, this is RE one, I believe. The back bling is dope. I'll be getting into edit styles. And this is what the the umbrella looks like with her. I actually really like this because the umbrella looks nice, especially the umbrella symbol on it. I hope to see more Resident Evil skins in the future. And the glider I have on is the Rick Grimes glider. Because I thought it like kind of matched with like the whole apocalypse theme. With like Resident Evil like zombies and everything. And then this is what her other edit style looks like. I'll be doing the... I'll show you the other... The back wing edit style. She has three in total. She has a red engine and she has a blue. Well, this is the orange one. Is it orange? Oh, yeah, this is orange, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, hey, talking, can you kill me? It's not showing the glow for me. Thank you. And lockers are so weird nowadays. Like, I tried doing, I was doing a Friday 13th roleplay earlier, and, like, it wouldn't change my pickaxe. Like, now, yeah, now it's glowing. Uh, so, all of them have a glow, depending on what color they are. Like, the first one had a green glow. Which, these are the, I like it back wing. And both of the back wings can be used with either skin because this is the heal item that you use in Resident Evil and the other back playing is the save feature which is pretty cool to do. But yeah, um, this is what the uh, yeah, umbrella looks like with this style. This is the RE2 remake version of Jill. <coughs> and I have the steel black wrap on. Uh, this matches pretty well. And these skins are really nice because they're like pretty basic and like they're really nice looking. I'll show you the final style for the back bling. Okay, I'm gonna need you to kill me again because the glow isn't showing. Hey, I hope if I hope I hope Epic fixes them. I hope they fix the um lockers. It says the lockers are really annoying, and the lockers are basically helps me out with these reviews. And I like this blue one, by the way. This one looks nice. You can basically use any any edit style. I like this one. Out of all three of them, I think I like the blue one the most. Now let's look into Chris. And the Resident Evil movie. Um, and the way that the characters look, like, with the costumes and everything, looks spot on, too. I 
Uh, this is his pickaxe, or Chris's pickaxe is basically like how like a stun stick, like electric stick. And it has like a electricity splash. And it has a contra, like electricity contra. And this one sounds like hitting stuff. And this is what the emote looks like with him. I already like this emote, actually it's one of my favorite out of all my gaming series emotes. And this is what the pickaxe sounds like. Hey, man. It sounds like it's electricity. That backling is cool because it's a safe feature, I like that. Backling isn't reactive at all. Which shot could have been cool if it was reactive, like if you jumped, the keys moved or something. Or you took damage, like the paper fell off or repaired. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, same, same wrap on with them, I actually have actually two wraps. Two other wraps I think will match with Chris, this style at least. I have the um, kit. Wrap or no, it's yes, yeah, kit, yes, yeah, kit with like like dark green and brown. I think that looks pretty good. But then I have um the Doctor Doom wrap, which it matches, but it has that glow when you shoot, like that green glow. Like I, cause I like I like the dark green and the silver, cause it matches pretty well with this. It has like that bright green. But I think it still looks good, even even though it has that glow when you shoot. And this is what the umbrella look or the the glider looks like with Chris. Same glider. I actually really out of both of the skins, um, Chris's first edit style is my favorite, and then Jill's second edit style from RE two is my favorite. Because I don't really like Chris's Resident Evil Village edit style that much. <coughs> I mean, it's obviously, this is Chris when he's older. Uh, I have to put on different. Now, the stealth black wrap will look really good on this style. And this is what the guy looks like with this edit style. And that's what the emote looks like with him. Um, this entire set, I love the entire set. Everything in the set, I love it. And I do it on brother, I love it. It's not, I like this an emote. I use emote a lot. I really like it. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this set. Yeah, the whole entire set's 10 out of 10. Both skins are 10 out of 10. The pickaxe is 10 out of 10. I like the hot dagger more, but still. And the email looks really good. And that's going to do it for my review on the Resident Evil Jill and Chris skin review. And let me know what you think about these skins. And are you going to see the new Resident Evil movie? And as always... Stay awesome. Don't forget to hit that like button.